talking to the house. Uh, uh, my name is Benjamin Menelik George. That's my government name. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a musician. As you all know, I started music in 2011. Uh, should I say I'm a rapper? Primarily, I make rap music. But then, yeah, I make Afro beats as well and other types of music. Yeah. Multiple uh, awards. I thank God for. What was the inspiration okay. of that, the new song, The Tell? I'm very curious to know about that the, the, the new song and what inspired you to go that route. Um, tell tell has, al has always been a topic for me because, like, the gossip, I mean, Abon Mitam, and it never ended. I mean, gossip is a big topic everywhere you go, and the community, not to any difference. So, I mean, I've heard things about myself that I didn't remember telling more than one person, or right. I didn't remember telling more than two people. And uh, I've heard things about other people that were supposed to be our secrets, and I didn't remember telling other people. So, you know, it's just the surprise you get when you hear things about yourself, when you hear things about other people and what you hear. And when you come to find out why people would gossip about other people or why people would take other people's information and pass it on to other people, right. like for the for like different reasons and all that. So, so I'm curious, like, all right. So the last time we talked, you talked about how you work on like, multiple songs at the same time, hundreds of songs at the same time, right? And I yeah. assume that you, this year you're going to be dropping quite a few songs, correct? An album, hopefully. You got how many songs in that album? Uh, currently, we got like 20, 21 songs in the album. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, sounds, audio sounds better now. Everybody, give me a thumbs up if the audio sounds better. That's a little sound. If this, it sounds really good on mine. Sounds good on your end too? Yeah, it does. All right, wonderful. All right. Um, I had a few questions. The last time we kind of talked about the, you know, icebreakers, your background and all that. But I really wanted to go more into, like, as a professional artist, um, there's two things I notice about other artists, and maybe you could point them out, right? Do you think people can make a living, Sir Unions can make, musicians can make a, a living off music? Like, like feed their family off music? Yes, yeah, definitely. I've been making a living off music. I don't do anything else, you know. And I know, I know a couple of my friends that have been doing the same thing. Uh, I'm part of a band of four, okay, five, let's say, because um, I have a DJ as well. And I know plenty of my friends that are making a living off music. I mean, myself, DJ Rampage, Solos Beats, Frita Uncut, the entire Frita Uncut. Like, we've all been living off music for like eight years straight or eight years or more because i started music in 2011 but they had started music longer than that so right. yeah i'm it's i'm positive one can make a living off music what i'm a testimony what I've did you guys do music. different what did you guys do differently because I, I talked to a lot of artists who they say they still do struggle and that and even talked to a lot of people who are friends of artists who talk about like these artists huh? like what did what can you not do different? What can what kind of advice? What advice would you give to other artists who are not, you know, as successful as you guys? What advice would you give? Uh that's hard actually, because I'm not sure what they are doing different, but for me it's just the same thing. If you're a musician, you do music, right? If you're a banker, you focus on what you're doing. If you're a trader, you focus on your trade. Like whatever trade you are doing, you just focus on it, every aspect of it. Like you mind your business. I think that's the, that's the, that's the advice. Mind your business because with entertainment, it's easy for people to tell you, uh, this won't make you a living. You won't make it. You won't become anything. You won't be able to feed your family or stuff like that. And I feel like people get it too, people take it too serious and they listen to what other people has to say too much. Right. It throws them off. It throws them off. Like with music, you have to focus as if it's any other trade. 
it's harder for musicians though because we don't really usually get that support from the very start but then if you're focused on what you do i'm sure you can make something of it and again uh you have to be content as a musician you know everybody knows um in certain country if you have a certain profession you're bound to make a certain like you're about to be in, in a certain bracket you know in place like uh, Sierra Leone let's say Sierra Leone for example um politicians make more money <laughs> especially when they're in power okay no that's facts <laughs> and um yeah, then followed by uh lawyers and doctors and then maybe um yeah teachers and the rest fall under you know so you can't expect to be doing as good as your lawyer friend if you are uh let's say an ordinary mechanic you understand you have to be content you have to be able to aim you understand when i was when i was in um when i was doing like my third mixtape yeah what i wanted was a, was a hit track you know what i wanted was a hit record so that's all i was focused on i mean people like cardinal we were getting gigs and gigs and gigs all over the place i saw that right. but that wasn't my level that wasn't my reach that wasn't my goal back then so it didn't throw me off like other people's success shouldn't throw you off i, th- I feel like that's what happens to plenty of musicians they let other people's success throw them off i mean if i'm aiming for if i'm aiming for this area to conquer this area if someone else is conquering let's say five or six more areas that's fine if i get this area i know i've reached my goal you know some i feel, I feel like it's something like that like yeah year one you the first go year two you day year three you the first go final year you know the person where they final year and a final year is supposed for they So, so I'm I get I'm get your path but I'm going to get your path focus on your path focus on like oh your lane now look the other now, now look the other person your lane yeah. yeah you touched on something also that when uh, the second question kind of chave into that when you're talking about your mixtape so yesterday I talked to Maye right and she drops like one song every six months Maye if you're listening I inc- I didn't talk about you but I just use it as example she drops one song every six months okay right? and I talked how you were t- you were dropping like mixtape yeah, like you know like year after year like just putting out content right so what what yeah. as, as a, what mm-hmm. do you which path do you think is better like putting out a lot of content or waiting and putting out what you think is a is a quality piece whatever uh, uh different artists use different patterns uh for me i'm not the type of artist that drops single single singles all the time uh i rather drop albums because when i write i try to put my songs in concept so they fit into an album you know it's not just a single song like it has to fit into a like a an album like a, like a bigger story like it's an part album of a bigger concept, story like a bigger story yeah yeah so that's how i write so whenever i drop a song be rest assured it's off an album like there is a bigger thing coming after that but there are other artists like like let's say for example like the wiz kids and davidos they drop singles these are single type artists i mean afrobeat artists do that mostly like they drop singles 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 and it works for them uh for me i try to tell a story a bigger story so i drop albums or mixtapes or things like that So it depends on it depends on what you are trying to pass on. Right. Uh I ha- we have a record label that we run. And we have gospel artist, we have a DJ, DJ Rampage. He's also dropping music. We have Afrobeat artist, we have other artists that haven't kind of like defined their own sound yet, but then they're coming up singers. What I tell them is even if you're dropping uh singles mm-hmm. once you're in the lab try to write or record songs as if you're recording for an album if you need you plan to drop just one single we record-
record a CD or recording for an album, one reason is it's always good to be prepared because when one single drops, there's that pressure that comes for another one. Right. And you don't want to, you don't want to be trying to make the next one while people are <laughs> asking for the next one. Right. So you want to, you want yeah. to have that so, already in the, in, in the back seat. True. And another reason, another reason is because um, when, you, when you write as if you're writing for an album, even if you drop each and every song as a single, it, it all fits into like your, an era. Let's say um, there was, there's this um, Craig David seven days um, song. It was, it was part of an album, Born to Win or Born to Do It. Okay. So some, some of those songs came out as singles. But then even if all those songs had come out as singles, you could, you could put them into one compilation and say, these songs came out during this era. Right. They have one sound. So it's kind of like a way for you to define your music, like connect your music. So on that note then... So if I'm going to release... If I'm going to release... 10 songs a year, mm -hmm. even if I'm going to drop them as singles every month, I'd, I'd record them as if I'm recording an album. Right. I'll make sure they connect. Yeah. So I was going to talk to more personal now. Um, with this, when are you going to be dropping the album that you, that, you, that you say you're about to drop? When is the album dropping? I'm looking at either September 4th or December 5th. Oh, wow. Okay. So you already have a concept of this album oh uh, yeah 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 i do you want to, anything you want to share on the concept uh, i'm not going to name tracks though but you know it's just like a it's the album is titled ashobi as most people know already okay and um as we all know ashobi na uh, like let's say uniform yeah we Occasionally, people and they come together, family members and they come together, or people that we belong to a certain sect or group, they come together and say, we they wear these clothes for show solidarity, for show uniformity, or for show say I belong to this particular sect. And um, we all know the uh, Shukublai um, concept, where they had the last album, Shukublai, it's a continuation of Shukublai. So uh, this one now, the Ashobi, is basically saying, we all belong to this one thing, no matter how good or bad it is. You know, no matter the state of. Right. So what's what's that? What's that? What's function? What's that? The state where the ashobi? What's that? What's that? The 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 way the ashobi for in that this album? What's that? The way the ashobi for in this album? Yeah. What's it? What's it? What's it? What's that? That we all belong to. What's that? What's that? This one thing where we all the way the ashobi for in that album. Uh, so, the the album they depict everybody for them in this one family way hypocrisy they they um, <laughs> backbiting they they so much love they they um, you know like a bittersweet relationship I things good sometimes things yeah. bad sometimes people and they blame other people them but at the end of the day we all still belong to and when family. it comes to uh, when it comes to the time for us to show how much we belong. Everybody want for where they should be. It's like April 27th. Everybody, they talk bad about Salon. It's April 26th. But when it's April 27th, they <laughs> all they come out and say, green, white, and blue, green, white, and blue. Green, white. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. It... <laughs> it's true. It's so true. <laughs> it's like that. I, I like for say, the Ashobi, the Ashobi mean Sierra Leone. But not the salon no more get us in that story there. Why are they talk so but so right now? Yeah, you, know? you can you can put so there should be any, any, salon, but yeah. Any family, any, any nation, part of any family, yeah. any family, any group of people, any part of the world, they have certain characteristics that are gonna be the same. So anyway, so we know say one part of the thing there now Congo Sana gossip. You already you already seen what that yeah. so we still have some other things then where yeah. they where, 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 where family gets. Where we able for make music plan? Uh, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> now you force me for that. Like, <laughs> the other song is like, wow. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I go add this day. Um, there's this song I did. It's called Pope. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. I think it's coming out next. So watch out. <laughs> I have a Pope. Um, yeah, Pope. Pope is coming out next. So Pope in the text talk about uh, downplay. Like how people in the downplay the importance of the one the way they rise, they come up. You know? Like let's you mean, say for you example, mean like bad, like bad ass? part of a family. Come again? You mean like like how people they bad ass other person? What do you mean downplay? Explain what you mean when you say downplay. Downplay, downplay are seen. Ah, yeah, good, but you're not good enough when you uh, don't say you're good. <laughs> you understand? I understand. Like that when you act as if, when you act as if, when you act as if, you're not feeling something as much when you know, of course, you know you're feeling it, but you just don't want to react. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what they, they mainly inspired by like a story where, let's say, within a family, mm -hmm. Um, all man they try them best. Right. You get people them we don't left. You get people them. You get elephants that we don't walk at not the soil. They don't left very big tracks for the young one and for can fill in. You understand? Yeah. You know the young one the way they come, not necessarily need for fit in the shoes of the big one that we don't pass, right? Because everybody get a own story. Like you everybody said, get all, all man get in lane, like you say earlier. All man get in lane. Yeah. Uh -huh. But listen, yeah, all man get waiting, all man get waiting and go able for do. All man get waiting and go able for do in the world, you understand? Mm -hmm. But then when they when they're elephants and they don't pass, then the young one and they come up, they always they try for judge them based off waiting the other one and don't do, you understand? And it bad cause the one that we actually the judge, the one that we feel say they get the rights for judge and tell say, yeah, it's good enough. Actually, now people that will live now the era of the one that we don't pass. You understand? So mm -hmm. it's almost impossible for them to say, it's almost impossible for them to say, um, yeah, this don't do as much, or this one good enough. Like for example, the Messi and Maradona argument. I feel like I feel like Messi and Ronaldo ended that argument like a few years ago. We <laughs> but people and they were still they argue, say. People and they will still argue, say, Maradona better than Messi, Pele better than Ronaldo, or Pele better than Ronaldo and Messi. You understand? Yeah. Because, like, a bunch of. So, uh, so, so, wait, so, old so wait, wait, because um, just so I get it straight, so, I'm, I'm, so you're saying that comparing people or artists from different eras, you can't make a comparison because they, uh, it's, 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 like, it's like comparing Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson type situation. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, you know, because then they face with different things and they face with different struggles, then they face with different media. Because the media, of course, they play such a great role in entertainment and everything, actually. Look for, like, for example, I'll be to watch the um, Last Dance, the Michael Jordan um, documentary. And um, I don't be ever know say Michael Jordan gets a gambling issue with being gone. Right, right. Big gambling. Uh, after that, after the peaks and all. So, Somebody come up with a point when we said they think about, about say, um, what if Michael Jordan be the go through that issue day now with social media big so you understand? I mean, it, it be already don't sick right. of the press back then when when people and be the meet him after game at training, they ask him about some small gambling issue with him. He feels say, yeah, you understand. So imagine I, mean, if, I feel like that would have right, right. Like imagine, imagine if not nowadays, that would have blown out of proportion. And it, 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 the, 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 the way the image we have of him might have been completely different. So like the the error it's different, that you understand in, exactly. So it's not you can't just just remove the artist from that period, bring him back, and then compare somebody else. There's, there's so many other things. Yeah. So 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 so, so yeah. So, that, so I feel like I feel like artists of nowadays. Now let me last 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 <laughs> narrow the point. I feel like I feel like artists of nowadays, artists of nowadays, especially Sierra Leonean artists, are being faced with that. You know, we are with a force. Then the force we follow we make songs them. We sound exactly like Tutu Party, or songs them we go hit people them like Tutu Party, or songs that we go hit people them like T T only. You understand? Yeah. And 
that's unfair because music don't become so much better. We can make music way faster than back then. We have so many more things to think about. I mean, we don't become way more liberal. So, so much to talk about. You can't say the artist is not legit because you know, they talk about one particular thing where like somebody we would have expected if they live in his shoes, right. be known they talk about, you understand? And is that, so that's the, the thing, is that like, prevalent? Do, do you, do artists get that a lot on the ground, like that comparison and, and try to yeah, they, pigeonhole them into yeah. that, t like the hits from back then? That, that happens a lot? Yeah, it happens a lot. I mean, for one, I know people don't play Sherilyn in music as much as they used to play Sherilyn in music. Really? And most of them claim, yeah, most of them claim it's because... Wait, 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 wait hold on a second. Wait, let, me take, let me hear that back. You're talking about now, like, currently. They don't play, about now. They don't play, play only music at now as they used to. As much, no. Wow. Yeah. Even, in, even in Sierra Leone, yeah, even in Sierra Leone. People know. I mean, if you come out here in December, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, but, I'm, but, 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 but let, let me hope say this airport open before December, I pray God. And let me hope say this thing yeah. goes. And if I ever come before December. But anyway, let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> so you said people so what they play what nigerian oh also on the time check because i definitely want us to keep it to the 30 minutes i know you know so we got like five more minutes and we cut and i don't want to use you've been generous with your time like two times <laughs> so we wrap it up in like five minutes but let's um let's finish that okay. thought um so you're saying like what so what do they play nigerian music or like what if not Syrian yeah, music they, they, yeah they play nigerian music and most of them say it's because Italian music is not as good as it used to be, which is so not true. So why is that? Why is that? But, okay, now to kind of talk for the DJ side. Wouldn't the DJ automatically play what people are vibing to? So if people are vibing to Italian music, wouldn't they by default play that because that's what people want? So is so it the VJ? Is it's not it, a, uh, go ahead, go on, go on. So that's what finish, me, that's, that was actually my question. It's like, when the DJs play, if the people want it, they'll play it. So, is it is is it true that the music is good and people don't like it, or is the music just not as good as it should be? The music is as good. It's just that Serenin and like Serenins are comfortable. We're too. No, let me not say comfortable because our situation is not something you can get comfortable with. <laughs> I don't think anybody. <laughs> I don't. I don't think anybody likes it as it is. But Sierraleans easily resort to the past when there is a problem. You know, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, like uh, let's say if we if we if there if we were to go out and represent now and say um, uh, world music challenge, pick out a. Uh, a musician from Sierra Leone pick out a musician from United States and all around the world uh, because people think Sierra Leoneans don't have good enough musicians in the now, like nowadays, nowadays they'll easily resort to picking one of the back in days musicians or old musicians to represent. Really? Because Yes, that's, that's how. I mean, it's the same thing with the national team. Don't we see? True. So, so I keep saying, I, I keep saying, um, Leon Stars Poel, Leon Stars Poel, Leon Stars Poel. But when you check the squad always, a bunch of old, old, old footballers, <laughs> like they keep recycling. <laughs> you know, uh, but let, and, let, and, let, and, let, and when you watch, uh -huh. and when you watch, when you watch the smaller league them, you just see say more competitive than the national yeah, league. yeah because they get fresh blood because then they allow yeah so you see but, like okay that, but i still need, i still election. feel like i need to dig a little deeper so like if we're put to put on the world stage right and they ask us to represent you know five artists that will compete and we're able to represent us and we'll be proud of what i actually i'm gonna put you on the spot what five artists? Would, <laughs> what five artists? Me. Not, not, not including you. Not including you. Now pick me. 
I'd pick me definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I right, say you're the team leader. All right, you're the team leader. You're the team captain. Who'll be a four? Who'll be a, 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 and you'll be a fourth supporting cast. And this supporting cast is going for the gold. Who'll be a fourth supporting cast? Ah, that's a lot to say. I'll definitely pick Rose because she's like top female musician and she's doing so well. Okay. She has so much potential. All right. Uh, Point. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not that easy. You say it's difficult. You know, you don't, you don't bless no. your salon company. Then you say you change. No, but I, I can, I can. Okay, it's you just, listen. It just listen. takes time. It will take time. I can. Rose is one. Who do you? <laughs> <laughs> Who the other three that be your support on your <laughs> on your team? On my team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose is one. You need three more members in your team to go represent Salon in the in so in the world in the world championship. Your team captain, Rose, is one. Who the other? Rose, three? for for experience, I'll 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 take Emerson. You see, you but you don't contradict yourself, bro. You know, no. You know, you're talking, you're talking you about saying? you just you just said you, you just spent an entire fifteen minutes <laughs> talking about how we need Listen. you you straight up contradicted yourself. Hey, I pick myself. I pick myself, right? Yes. You pick Rose. New, new artist. I pick Rose, new artist. Okay. Emerson for the experience. But, but, but you say that you you say we need the fresh you, you give me an example for this talent team, I didn't get you, you can't just think no, to yourself, bro. What that is say? No, what that is say is, what that is say is. But you, but it's the same thing, the same thing where you say people play two two party. You just basically in the mm -hmm. conversation, just brought, said so. I, I would, I would go and play two two party on the world stage, even though you said there's a whole bunch of new people, whole bunch of new stuff. So you can't just think to yourself. The problem is, the problem is when they play the old stuff, they don't play the new stuff. Now you now you put now you put asterisks and you put disclaimer. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. That's I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm gonna be up in like we will knock it that we're knocking at like three more minutes. All right. Okay, let me ask you a specific question mm -hmm. then. Some three new, uh -huh. three new artists mm -hmm. on your support on your team. Who will be the three new artists in your, on your team? Three new artists on my team. Yeah. So Rose is one. Uh... Uh, Young Sal. Yeah. Definitely. Yep. Uh, Cat Twist and Samsung, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, one more. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be a female. Two. You only got one woman in your team. You gotta be a female. Cat Twist and Samsung are two. No, no, they are. They, they, they add as one. <laughs> <laughs> they count as one. And the last one has to be a female. The last one has to be a female. Ah. Uh. Who will be, be the, the other female representative? The, I said the last one has um, to be a female. Has to be a female artist. It has to be a female artist. Ah. Okay, there's this girl, Louise. She's a oh, Louise is artist. sick, yo. Louise is <laughs> sick. I've been following her since she's dropped, man. Her, her manager lives in Chicago, man. I've been hooked on Louise since she dropped, yo. I, she is super talented. Ah, uh, you got you got a legit mm -hmm. quiet. So that makes sense, you know, because like you just actually because Louise she dropped like like five six fire bangers that DJs went. I didn't see it didn't get as much rotation. So you make a good point on that because Louise was one person. Her songs were hitting. That yeah. All right, man, you've been generous with your time. Two times in a row. I appreciate it. So, I, you know, and I want to overstay me welcome. You, I know so you're not Creole. You're not going you're not going to say, I can't do it. Just say, oh, I'm going to call you back. <laughs> 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 and so I don't want, I don't want to overstay my welcome two times. So I'll call you back again for Cam. You're not going to say, but I might talk too much. So I appreciate yeah. it. Um, you said the next, the next part of Asha B is going to be Pope, P O P E. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, hope, I hope I didn't put, uh, you know, force you to, to play your hand too early. <laughs> no, so, no, uh, it's fine, it's fine. About to log off. Any, any, anything you want to say before we log off? Any last, last words to people? You got a lot of fans. Um, yeah, I love all my fans. They know. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. Anybody where they can watch any salsa day, I like that. Even if you need to watch because of me, at least you can try for a little bit of salon music. 
I appreciate Dani so much. Um, I love you all. And I want to pass this on because me, me, I like salon music. And I want to see salon music go far because of so many reasons, you know. Some of them personal, some of them are because of national development and all that. But we need to be religious about supporting salon. Like, honestly, most of what's in with a grumble about not to. So governments get for everybody. Now we say self gets for saying it in a salon with a put before. Then they in a thin way all salon man need for gain at the mind. Like just as and I they send this to the DJs them because most times when they make them comments they are excuse me if I they go on for two. No, no, I just start I I want you to go on. I just love you up for overstay me welcome. So as long as you did talking. No, it's fine. All right. <laughs> it's fine, we can go on. <laughs> It's fine. I they say this, um, most of the time when I can come and say, the DJs, they need to do enough. They need to do enough. Like, not because of how I don't see Salon Day. I grew up, they buy cassette in a Salon. And trust me, that era day in a Salon music, no more will be listening. It's not like the R&B, not being the kind side and all the other things in day, but we've been really, really, really just about supporting Salon. I grew up now when in the street, we've been getting super sound now in the street. We say they sell all the cassettes and where they come out. We they buy each and every album where they come out. You understand? And artists then they get, then, then they get our support from them. They, then they get love. Then they, they say they want to do more. You understand? We need to get back to that point, Usai, where they think about Salon. We really need to dig in. You know, we need to find the best all is not well but salon, but we need for fan the best. We need for fan the best. And so the fans them, every some people then go say, well, who they listen, who they listen radio and this would they hear, would they hear that day? So they don't know who they listen to radio and they no more would they go for. I think you need for reach to that point. So you they dig deeper and fan the best. Look, salon a diamond that we get. You need a fan diamond on the surface. You therefore dig for her. You see. It, we need to make that effort before for on earth the good things them about salon. Trust me, as a day, if we say we just relax and watch and so in order for ever see the good in Sierra Leone. Trust me, in order for ever come up. Nigeria then they get the same thing. I mean, everybody been the wonder why, why, why. I mean, Felakuti was big. It been really, really big doing in term. But then in 1999, 98. R&B being bigger than Afrobeat music, R&B being bigger than the music within Nigeria, they had to do something. Then we need to go deep within and find within they really get. You understand? They meet like just like how the meaning and the way we get not on top. If you can't just can't fly plain as you know, normal, you need to see one diamond. But if you dig deep, you'll be able to see something. So we really need to go inside and check what we get. And when we find waiting, we really, really get where we know so we can be proud of. We really need for sure I'm out there. I don't think we do enough, honestly. As a, as Sierra Leoneans, I don't think we do enough. We just wait for April 27 or come and start to show the flag, wave the flag, wave the flag. It's not enough, trust me. It's not enough. Not tell me, say, you don't know what type of fans are music. In 2020, how come? Like, you know, you know, real, you know, sound real to me. When you say that, like, I don't meet so many DJs that really tell me that same talk. They not so real talk, Danny. Trust me, <laughs> it not sound real. So let the digging begin. For real. So, yeah, we need for dig. We need for dig. We situation also the same like other countries. Then, for America, they get so many avenues and where they can see the normal artists then pop up. Nigerians themselves right. don't create so many platforms the way artists they can pop up. But Salo, we not get that many platforms there yet. I mean, shout outs to Talk You Talk and Official Mama Salon, um, new SL Music and Salon to the Top, where they give you the platform for no way able to tell the story. But we need to do more. Uh, we need to yeah. dig deeper, or else we're not forever see that thing we want for Sipa Salon. Trust me. We're going to we're going to let, the dig, let the digging begin. It might not talk. <laughs> Thank you very much, boss man.
I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you never, it. you never hesitate, man. Like, man, I mean, not, I mean, you are a star. You are our star. But yet, you're still so relatable. You still make the time. You know, like for me, I'm still small. I'm still trying to do my thing. And the fact that you even, you know, take the time to, you know, call me back on WhatsApp when I reach out to you. Even met when I DM you. You know, I've DM'd a lot of people. <laughs> and you were you and another bigger artist for the only two responded, man. That was that was huge of you, man. So I really appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, brother. So we got finished up. Serving to the top. That's how it been. Serving to the top. You gotta say it. Sierra Leone to the top. <laughs> we out, brother. <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. All right.